Hello beautiful starseeds, it's Alexander Quinn here. We've got a lot of very positive, beautiful things to talk about today. Have you ever been on a plane when you're going somewhere and your journey on the plane, you hit a little bit of turbulence? Well, you always get to your destination in the end and that's where we are. We're on the turbulence stage, but the destination's coming. A lot of good things are on their way. There's a lot of positivity in this video today and a lot of you are feeling very lost. You don't need to be good times are coming we're going to be talking about the grand solar flash today what it's all about when it's coming the effect it's going to have on all of us what it's all about i'll give as much information as i can alexander quinn starts navigating the light off we go So before we get started, I just want to have a quick timeline recap on the build up to the Grand Solar Flash in 2020 and why a lot of people felt slightly conned in 2012 when they didn't quite get the spiritual result that they wanted and what that's all about. So let's just quickly go back to 1987, the harmonic convergence, the, the magnetics of the earth are changing, it's putting the blueprint down for the potentiality that we do cross the market. The Cold War ends, the threat of nuclear war comes down, and it doesn't look like we're going to blow ourselves up. Then we start getting to the year kind of 2000, I think it was in 1999, the Matrix movie came out, the idea came out that there's a, there's a Matrix and we're stuck in it and we need to get out. Then in the early 2000s, there was another mass awakening then and lots of people started coming online. Then we had 2012. Now 2012 was basically going from 3D into 40 it was when the recalibration years began because if you had a solar flash right now a lot of people's etheric bodies and physical bodies which are now more crystalline but were more carbon based would probably just not be able to handle it and there'll be a lot of deaths on the planet energetically when 2012 came along we basically started the process 2013 was a recalibration year so ascension basically began in 2014 which means we are effectively uh, multi-dimensionally seven years old so we're early in the process but we had to go through a lot of energetic changes in order to get there and we've been doing that and we've been going through ascension symptoms we've been feeling it physically we've been feeling it mentally our light bodies are taking on more energy have you noticed people are losing weight they're not needing to eat as much people are not rushing for beef they'd rather go for it's you know a vegetable sandwich or something like that people's bodies are changing so there's been a build-up in order to get us to the grand solar flash and that is where we're at now so 2012 was the beginning and 2020 is the culmination of a lot of things. If you notice the way the energies are um, basically supported at the moment, you've got 5D edging up and up and up and up, and you've got 3D trying to push up fighting, and there's loads of turbulence, like I was saying on the airplane, but we're about to get to the destination, and a lot of people are feeling a lot of turbulence at the end of this year, and the plane is gonna land. So the grand solar flash is gonna be like a champagne cork popping off. And when I said, so from 2012, that was going into 4D. 2020, we were going into 5D. That's when officially there will no longer be a 3D matrix. It will be gone. So if you're still putting 3D constructs and superimposing that into your life, it's because you are doing it. The crystalline grid is not doing it and reality is not doing it. So first off, how do we know about the grand solar flash? Well, we've heard Ashtar Kaman talk about it. We've heard the Syrians, we've heard the Arcturians. There's a lot of channel messages going on about it. a lot of spiritual people are talking about it. So we've got stuff coming from the earth plane and we've got stuff coming from the other side of the veil, angelic messages as well. So it's coming thick and fast from everywhere. So that's how we, we know about it. The next thing, when is it gonna be? Okay, well, it's looking likely that it's gonna be on December the 21st, 2020 of this year. So we're not far away, we're just over a month away. I'm gonna go into why that's looking more likely than it is looking unlikely, but we'll come to that. But effectively, we're going from 4D to 5D. We're going from Pisces to Aquarius. We are concluding and rounding off and finalizing a, gro a, a, a great, um, sorry, celestial cycle forever. It's coming to an end. The age, golden age of truth and peace and abundance is now here. And any dark forces and constructs and suppressive mindsets or matrices that have been present will be finally concluded and taken away. So we are really stepping the marker and it's gonna be the 2012 
that a lot of people wanted. Let's have a quick look at a little bit of astrology. So it's going to happen on the winter solstice. That's a very telling time when a lot of changes and things happen. A lot of energies on the planet shifting. The next thing, as early on in 2020, earlier on in the year, we had a Pluto-Jupiter conjunction. There's a lot of stargates and portals opening up, energies becoming present, ramping up, setting the stage. We are now going into a 400 year event where we have a um, Saturn-Jupiter conjunction and it'll be the closest and one of the biggest ones we've had in four years, 400 years. There is also the 1111 portal, which is springing into life. So all of the ducks are lining up so perfectly for this event to happen. So with all of these things happening in the celestial skies, you're gonna be going into the age of Aquarius, which is the sign of social change, humanitarian efforts, justice for all. You're gonna see massive power struggles happening more and more and more. And the Grand Solar Flash is just gonna crystallize this. Now what I'm seeing more and more and more are two camps. But there is commonality in the story. So what I am seeing is a lot of spiritual people, a lot of star seeds saying, hey, this photonic plasma gamma rays going from 40 to 100 hertz pushing us into 5D come from the great central sun. And the two parties that I'm seeing are some people saying that the Pleiadians are going to basically initiate this coming from Alcyon. And I'm also seeing another party of people talking about Sagittarius being the center of the galaxy and the gamma rays coming from there and it's got something to do with the with the black hole that is producing all of these things either way there's going to be a mass gamma photonic wave hitting us like a <coughs> sneeze and that is also acting on our sun like a super capacitor and that also changes the way the sun moves and the way the sun works have you noticed how the sun is more whiter and brighter than it used to be. And when you were younger, it was more yellowish. So it's changing the way our sun works. And in history, throughout our evolution, every single time the sun changes, our consciousness changes. So there's gonna be this mass wave coming out the center of the galaxy, and that could also cause a solar flare. A lot of the banks are talking about it, and they're talking about two trillion worth of damage and all the rest of it. Don't worry about that. This is all good. There's nothing to fear. I'm gonna come on to that later. Now, for those of you who are more instrumental in the Pleiadians triggering this and the wave coming from Alcyon, there is a channeled message in the drop box below in the description. So how is this gonna affect us going forward well zero point energy field and free energy technologies are going to come out we're going to be looking at anti-gravity crafts things that work floating by themselves using the earth's gravitational field when we start going into more magnetics and gravity you can start to bend and shift time that means we can start to move objects around in different ways we're going to start thinking and, and scientifically using our abilities in completely new ways that have never been seen before we're going to really really if you the last hundred years were absolutely incredible. I mean, it was only so many years ago that the, 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 the Wright brothers were flying for the first time. And then in 1966, we've got the, we've got the Blackbird plane, the, the SR-19 or whatever it's called. I mean, it's such a short jump, 68 years or whatever it was, we suddenly get to that technology and the birth of the internet. So if you thought the last 100 years were pretty um, technologically and sci scientifically incredible, just watch this space, because it's gonna be mind boggling. Okay, so let's talk about timelines. The universe is gonna be calling on you much more to serve out your highest timeline. Have you ever been somewhere in a relationship or a job or a place where the universe just clicked its fingers and went, no, and you were taken out of a situation or removed from it, almost out of your control? Well, that's gonna happen more. If you're not on the right timeline that is not serving you at the highest, you're gonna really start seeing that a lot more now because synchronicities and the foundation of everything that the hurts that we're going in, the human frequencies, everything now is gonna be really geared up for you to be serving your highest timelines and it's gonna take half the amount of time to start manifesting it now. And the effect that that's gonna have on our psyche is that it's gonna be more painful going forward to be doing the wrong thing with our lives. 
So in the old 3D matrix, we would do a, a job that was um, very repetitive. You'd go there every day, you'd do it over and over and over, and the day was long and it was repetitive. The new psyche and the new energy will be much more about free flowing, doing what you really love doing, even if it's backtracking for a little bit. It'll be harder, much harder in 2021 and going forward to do something you're, you're not in love with because the energies will be ramping up against you and you'll be fighting them. And with timelines increasing, what is also gonna happen is your higher self, your oversoul, the other part of your soul, which is on the veil, which stays there, is gonna be much more connected and coming down into the body after the flash, because there's gonna be a lot more light integration in you, but also in, also in the crystalline grid. And energies that we're not able to get into our solar system and into Gaia herself are gonna be ripped away. So everything is gonna be able to come in. All the light and the gamma and all the energies and everything is synchronized. It's gonna really, really ramp up. So just have a look at this picture. It's really gonna be a time of listening to our hearts and not following our heads. So follow your heart and follow your passions. What you're also gonna be seeing is a lot of spiritual blocks are really gonna be ripped off this time. You're gonna be having a lot of past life things coming to the surface. Healing is really gonna come up. It's a time of great healing now. So a lot of blocks are gonna be taken away big time. That were there, a lot of things holding you back won't be holding you back anymore. It's seriously positive news. So that's also gonna push you back onto your highest timeline. Your perceptual looking at things is gonna change you'll be able to see more orbs, flashes of light. You'll be able to see deeper into the light spectrum and hear more as well. Your perception is gonna go up and it's gonna, it's gonna change. It's like gonna be coming out, out of the chrysalis. It's gonna be like going from like a, a caterpillar into a butterfly. You're gonna find your intuition has been stronger than it has ever been before. In the old 3D matrix, it was blocked by so many things unless you were really on your game where it's gonna be easier than ever to listen to your intuition. In the old 3D matrix, often the universe was saying, turn right but then you'd go left and a lot of souls were getting lost. Whereas in these energies after the solar flash is gonna be a pulse that's gonna remind your body and your mind and your soul, over soul forever, that when the universe is saying turn right, you will know that it's time to turn right and you'll actually do it. So it'll be easier than ever to go on the right path. So when you're on the wrong path after solar flash, it's gonna feel harder and the day is going to feel longer than ever before. Now, a lot of souls have been leaving Gaia in the past two years or so. It's because a lot of people are not or can't integrate the overwhelming gamma and light, etheric light that is entering their body. I don't know whether you noticed, but almost everyone has lost someone this year more than ever. And going forward into the into the end of this year and going into the flash, you really need to be taking extra care of your body. You're gonna be needing a lot of vegetables, a lot of water, and if you need to sleep, sleep. If you need to take a rest, take a rest. If you're not used to doing that, if you're a go, 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 go jet setter and you think you can survive on two hours of sleep, it's not gonna work for you anymore because your body's gonna be saying, uh, you know, I, I, I'm in pain here and we, I'm taking a lot of energy. I, I, I'm gonna need a break. I'm gonna force you to take a break. So go into the end of this year on the 21st of December, feeling clean and detoxify and you will go into it sailing. You know, the, the name of this channel is Alexander Quinn Starseed Navigating the Light. Well, as of late, all I've been saying is shadow work, shadow work, shadow work, because going into 5D, any trauma or baggage you've got, and hey, I've still got things I'm working through too, it's just gonna be thrown in your face. It's not gonna be able to be hidden anymore. A bit like the truth, the truth is gonna be coming out your traumas are gonna be coming out. It's gonna be harder to lie. You're gonna see it everywhere. So everything is gonna be exposed. And a message to a lot of star seeds and light workers that I really wanna give you before it's too late is shadow work is very, very good. You need to work through all your traumas and accept where we're going because if you take a fluorescent light and you go into a, not even a dark room, but you go into a room that with the lights turned on and you look at the kitchen surface, maybe you don't see anything. But when you put the fluorescent light onto the kitchen surface and you expose more light, 
all the dirt and the grime suddenly appears and that is what's happening now and you're going to see and you're going to see a lot of dark stuff coming to the surface for healing globally you're going to see terrible tales of adrenaline adre adrenochrome and all this stuff and, and satanic stuff that's happened and child abuse and pedophilia it's going to come out more and more and more and now starseeds who are at the beginning of their journey who are a lot about love and light i was there in the in the early days you're going to find it very difficult so you need to do shadow work and get ready for all the stuff that's going to be coming to the surface because some of it's going to seem very dark and ugly but you're going to be fine and it's all going to go away but it has to come up to get out. Now I've made some notes about some suggestions to do around the time towards the end of this year. I'm actually just going to read it off so if my eyes come away from you, bear with me for a sec because I'm just reading it. It's just easier to read it. And then I've jotted down some, um, some symptoms that you might actually feel when it actually happens. So these are some suggestions that came through to me. First of all, what I keep hearing is trust the divine plan trust when there's a mini stall in your life or something doesn't happen for a short period it's meant to go that way things will get back on track so trust the divine plan everything is happening in divine accordance with grace the way that's meant to happen another one that came through to me is if necessary on the 21st of december 2020 this year or around this time if the energies are getting too hard for you or especially on that day and what i, what I was what i was seeing is be alone go be alone and be peaceful so there's no no noise from the modern world or people coming in you might find it easier to integrate in energies if you're just by yourself it might be harder if you're surrounded by a whole lot of noisy people another one is around that time or on that day meditate meditate for five minutes if that's all you can do the best thing would be for an hour because you're gonna integrate more of your oversoul, you're gonna raise your vibration into a higher frequency, and when you go up into a higher frequency, it's easier to take that energy in. Another one, don't resist it. Just breathe it in and let it wash over you. Just breathe it in, don't resist it. If you resist it, it'll, it'll be harder, okay? Next one. Especially do not be around negative energies or negative people, especially around the time of December and especially around the flash. And I will tell you why. Around this time, as I say, the 3D matrix will disappear completely. So anyone that is locked in 3D, they, their fear and their anxiety will just go up and it'll really exaggerate fear and anxiety in 3D. If you are in a good place, and you're on the 5D timeline, it will really exaggerate that. So it's gonna split things apart and then exaggerate it. Prepare yourself. Make sure you're in good mind. If you have to just go away to a little old cabin in the middle of nowhere or a garden shed for a few hours around this time or the days around this time, just go and do it. Be peaceful, be in a good place. Those are the suggestions. Let's have a look at the symptoms that could happen. Now, the next ones are ones that came through to me. I'm just gonna read them off if it's okay, um, off my notes here, just because it's easier, so I can't always remember everything. Um, these um, symptoms are gonna be specifically for um, light workers, star seeds, spiritual people who are much more in tune with their bodies because as the event unfolds, they might feel it right in the moment. So this is more for you. Symptoms. Uh, you could temporarily temporarily feel like you're having an out-of-body experience. Just relax, stay grounded, you know, you're going to be absolutely fine. This is all in the divine plan. This needs to happen. And if you're still here on this earth, you are one of the chosen ones. You're meant to be here right now. You're part of this ascension. You came here and if you're still here, it's because you need to be here and you're gonna be here going forward, okay. Next one, you might be having a very heightened state of awareness. Your senses could peak or spike. Just enjoy it, that's all I'm gonna say, okay. Next one, you might see a lot of flashes, lights, orbs. You might feel like you're going a little bit crazy. I'm hearing that there might be a lot of um, presence in the atmosphere um, ships, um, craft, orbs. We might be seeing a very high propensity of ETs in the sky around this time or towards the end of Christmas. I personally think that's so cool. I love all that kind of stuff. Um, so that, that, that could be a real, real interesting thing to look out to. Technologies 
um, your phone, the radio, the TV, your electrical induction hob might go a bit weird. Don't worry about it. It's all part and parcel of what's to happen. It'll calm down. The governments and NASA will tell you that everything's gonna fall apart and everyone's gonna die and it's the end of the world. Just ignore that shit. You might feel your, depending on where you sit energetically and dimensionally, if you are in a bad negative place, stuff is really gonna slow down and it's gonna be a drag. Your day is gonna feel much, much longer and minutes are gonna turn into hours. If you're in a good place, time is really gonna ramp up and it's gonna speed up a lot and you're gonna go, you're gonna race through Christmas and you're gonna feel great. So another thing that I'm hearing is that there might be people who might get a bit of a jolt around this time or specifically on that day and they might get a sense that they need to lie down. Do it. If you need to suddenly get a feeling you're like, oh, around this time or on that day, like you need to you need to lie down. Oh God, I'm getting a bit of a an energy overload here. Go for it. Go lie down for a, take a little nap. Now the last thing I want to cover is that this is an overwhelmingly good thing that is coming. It's going to be fantastic. Look forward to it. Do not fear it. I for one. I can't wait. I want it to happen right now. It didn't happen in 2012 because our bodies were not ready for this rush of energy. And uh, you know, if it, if it were to happen now, think about some of the most extreme ascension symptoms uh, mentally and physically that you had times that by 10, your, your brain and your body just would, would not be ready for it. Now, Corey Good talked about a lot of interesting things. He was saying that on the deep state, dark level, above presidential kind of level there are tunnel systems and things that have been built all around the globe and um, there are basically societies um, above presidential level that basically said to, to, to every country we're going to take a little bit of your GDP and we're going to build tunnel systems so that when this thing comes you know we're not all blown off the face of the planet um, I, I, I think it's quite possible. I do listen to a lot of the Corey Good stuff. Don't worry about that. There will be, genuinely, there will be deep state CIA people who think this is evil and there will be in underground tunnels. And I've heard that has happened. There are banks out there. You can, you can see them talking about it. They're talking about a two trillion and NASA talking about there being uh, two trillions worth of um, damage and satellites being knocked out and all that kind of stuff. Again, it's just more, more fear propaganda. We get fear on the news every day. I would just ignore it. Um, don't even worry about it. Anything to any any fear stuff you hear, just ignore it. Uh, they want to make you scared. They want to put you into fear around this time so that you stay on a on a negative three D timeline. You're a sovereign being now. You're the boss. You don't need the government and the media telling you and being your leader and being your hero and being your champion, you're the champion now. You're the leader, you're gonna be guiding yourself into this. And, and the media is gonna be me and you. It's gonna be YouTubers, it's gonna be people speaking their truth. And you're gonna see more and more people coming to me and, and, and other people like me and you. Start up a YouTube channel, go and speak your truth too. Now's a great time. We're coming into such a beautiful time. So don't get caught up on all the shit that is going on right now. You know, all the negative 3D timelines. If you look at my last video, it said they're gonna try and put us on negative 3D timelines. And that was before all the lockdown and all the presidential campaigns and all this stuff started. And people said I was preaching fear and then they all went into fear and anxiety. It's a temporary measure. Remember what I said, Star Seeds. I will leave you with final analogy. When you get on a plane to go somewhere beautiful, a beautiful destination of your choosing, you get on the plane and there's some excitement. And then your excitement's a little bit dashed when the, the plane starts, you're getting a little bit of turbulence and you, you got your vodka and tonic or your, you know, if you don't drink your orange juice and you're bouncing up around, oh God, I feel a bit unsettled. That's not very nice, is it? And then the plane lands and you come into sunny Florida or, or the Bahamas or Spain or Costa Rica or wherever it is you like to go. If you're a bit weird, maybe the Antarctic, if you can get a scientific uh, flight that actually goes there but we're all gonna land at our destination. Trust the divine plan, I know I am, and I, I know a lot of you are. I know you are, I love you. And things are looking really beautiful going forward. God bless.